interests of in internal papers of certain agencies. And uh, there was one stupid mistake done by some uh, uh, network specialists in NASA. They published an internal paper, I think it's like 12, 15 years ago, uh, that was classified and it appeared for two days uh, in the public domain of the main NASA website. And some people just by incident found it and copied the paper. And since then, actually this is public domain. It's brought out every now and then. It's discussed by people every now and then. Um, it's not like the, like a text that is giving a full description of what they are doing. Basically, it's just a PowerPoint that um, is displaying certain core terminologies. This is the paper in the original form. And the title is a little bit funny. It's Future Strategic Issues for Future Warfare. And they project this on the year 2025, as if they talk about future technologies. And then you have a very big, very small subtitle, The Future is Now. Now I'm a bit confused. Is it now or is it in 15, 20 years that this is going to be brought out? If you go into the entire thing, you find a number of irritating um, statements. This is kind of the second page, the little one on top. Bots, bogs, and humans, welcome to the future. Bots are, is short term for nanobots, nanorobots. Bogs is a term coming from the, the uh, um, um, Star Wars, no, not Star Wars, the Star Trek uh, uh, filming. It's the species that is assimilating other species by turning them into half computer, half, half being. And humans, I guess they mean themselves, the one who are not affected by those games and rule the entire thing afterwards. And they, they just name a number of technologies that are going to be used in future wars. And they, they explicitly say the war of the future is not in between countries. They expect to have a world government. So the war happening on this planet is between the government and the normal people. And this completely different type of war will need completely different weapons. And